Hey guys, I'm coming with a small commentary and I wanted to say stop drinking the internet Kool-Aid. Stop drinking the internet Kool-Aid if you didn't hear me because I'm sick of this Coney 2012 shit going around. I hate the guy, I hate the cause, the people behind it I think are kind of extorting the system and it's ridiculous because I'm sick of the fact that Coney 2012 is now this big phenomenon. It went viral. I had made a video that went viral. I'm sick of the fact that people kept saying, are now like, oh, 2012, 2012. And it's all to spread awareness for the fact that this guy's around. When let's look at the facts and some of the things that are pissing me off. Now, I know the cause is actually a good cause. I'm not, su not, not supporting the cause. I'm not supporting the fucking phenomena behind it, which is ridiculous. So, if you look, take a look back at everything, it's like... If the man hasn't been active as supported by some facts out of other sources. I don't have sources right now, but if I source it and you want a source, I'll give you a source. The guy hasn't been around any sort of activity since 2006. That's a six-year difference since this guy's been doing anything. And not only that is, is now that the United States has sent in 100 troopers to go and try to stop Coney. Now, the reason that pisses me off because we had the whole fucking blood diamond ring going around. People were getting shot due to civil wars, and we didn't do a goddamn thing. We just say, oh, here's some fucking supplies. Go take care of people who need help. But now, now we hear about this one guy who's like, oh, holy fuck, he's killing min millions of people. He's taking children in, raping women, and now we're going to step in? Then there's all these other fucking people who are getting their arms chopped up, faces sliced up. And this was well before the fucking Coney situation. And that pisses me off because now we're going to interject. Now we're going to fight back. I hate it. It's fucking retarded and it's stupid. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say, oh yeah, it's not a good thing to go kill some guy who's fucking doing mental torture to people and taking them and making them kill their own parents. I mean, no, no person's ever going to say that in their right mind, but I'm saying stop drinking the internet Kool-Aid and watching the video and say, oh, we need to support the cause. It's all got to be for good. When the def realization of the fact is that when you donate to the charity what's behind this, you're only donating 30% to the actual cause. And not even that is afterwards, I believe it was the audit said uh, after 30% actually goes to the cause. And that's without even the included uh, cost of like getting people, transportation, sort of airlifting supplies there. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, no person should ever say a charity can run for free, and it's like, if I donate a dollar, a whole dollar goes to the charity, that's not possible. But if I remember hearing from the Young Turks, I can actually link their uh, video in there, and say, they were saying that people that are working there are getting paid almost six-figure salaries. It's a charity work. I mean, Jesus Christ, people, stop drinking the internet Kool-Aid. The guy is a fucking criminal. We know this. If it was an itch issue that was actually something that should be taken care of, our government would actually step in. But the problem is, is that now we're raising awareness to it. And it's like all these little goddamn gamers on, you know, Halo, Xbox, Live, PSN, Modern Warfare 3. I'm sick of seeing them all with the Coney fucking clan tag in there. And it's ridiculous. It's so fucking stupid. Stop following and stop being an internet sheep in the words of Insidious Soink. Don't drink the goddamn internet Kool-Aid. Think for yourself. Get some facts. Get educated behind what the cause is. Just that's all I got for now, guys. I mean, if you want sources, you want the video, I'll put them in the description. But the only way I'm sourcing is if you ask for the sources.